back on another step another day through this life i hope your day goes well just general thoughts for today and life in general is dealing with people and it's been on my mind lately because what i've been trying to do for the last couple years of my life is work on how i communicate with people both on my end and how i will allow other people to communicate with me and i realized that communicating has more to do with listening than it does with actually speaking and speaking less is hard for a lot of people and speaking more is hard for a lot of people and i'm always living in that gray area i love the yin yang symbol because obviously if you blend you know the chaotic darkness of the yin yang symbol with the more orderly you know more innocent side uh, more compassionate side you blend those two together you get the gray area and that, that gray area is where i like i don't want to go too far over into the darkness and i don't want to go too far over into the light i try to stay right in the middle and i've been trying to apply that to everything in my life and dealing with people is something that is a skill that you have to kind of learn on your own through your own experience throughout life obviously you know if you live in a big city your communication with people is going to be completely different than someone who lives in a small town of a population of 600 people you you're going to have a completely different way of communicating with people and your experiences throughout life even as a child watching your parents how they talk to people how did your best teachers talk to people how did your worst teachers your bosses family members the ones you thought you can trust and you listen more to those people when you should have been perhaps talking more to those people about what they could be doing differently in their lives who are your mentors how have they shaped you there's so many different people you gain knowledge from that you don't even realize have a huge huge influence on your life positively and negatively and it's only through retrospect you realize that that teacher in third grade taught you something that later in your life has not been beneficial to you but you've been carrying that your entire life i mean there was a teacher i had uh in fourth grade her name was miss warren i'm sure she's dead now because she was literally probably in her 80s when she was teaching uh this class and i mean this is back in the 80s where people could get away with a lot more as far as work environments of people kind of stretching their limits of their capability i mean this teacher had no business teaching kids in the fourth grade but she was and i had a huge setback with her because she was extremely extremely hard on me and for a long time i thought it's because i was stupid or, or whatever but it wasn't it's just i had a learning disorder back then people call it adhd now it wasn't a diagnosis back then and i learned to, over time that n there really wasn't much wrong with me she was just approaching me different than the other kids and i looked how she approached the quote unquote smart kids who didn't have any issues going on in her eyes and how she dealt with me it was embarrassing and i carried that for a long time until i literally into my adulthood when i realized you know uh there isn't anything wrong with me i just learn differently than everyone else i have to learn the way i need to learn and i've learned to apply that but if i would have kept that thought the same until now been you know in my close to my 40s i would be a completely different person you know but it there's other people along the way that cut into that like i had a teacher in high school who taught me about effort he was um, a shop room teacher and we were doing you know just wood making and things like that and i remember him saying to me one day you know you could have a lot of potential and the word potential is obviously something you can't really measure. You know, you can't just sit down and be like objectively just say, OK, how much potential does this guy actually have? You know, so when he looks at me and says that, I'm like, I took it as in, OK, so that must mean I don't have much potential at all. And he explained to me you know, potential has more to do with effort than anything. If you want to get something out of life, you have to put in the effort. And only then will your potential shine through the effort. It took me 20 years to figure out what the hell that man was talking about. And now I get it. And over the last couple of years, I realized, OK, going back to commun communication with people, you can take in everything from people. 
but it's up to you to actually take that information and mold it into something that will help you. It's good to take in bad information. You want to know what all that bad info is out there, all the bad advice. And I don't pretend to be a doctor or some therapist. I just, I share my experiences and how they've shaped my life thus far. I have a lot of growing to do. Life, people say life is short. Life is incredibly long. But is it short? Yes, it is. Communicate with people in a way where you, you're listening more and that's something that i have benefited from the more i listen the more i soak in i soak in all the bullshit i soak in all the knowledge i can and it doesn't have to be people in your life physically that you talk to people at your school your job your family members i find the most beneficial things is is going online using social media for what it's really meant for which is you can talk to people from around the world. You can gain knowledge in a, in a second. Listen. Learn to listen. Take in all of that knowledge. Take in all of that experience from all these other people. And you would see how much easier your life would be to navigate. You will see instantly. Because you will start to notice things that people have in common more than they have uncommon. You'll notice someone halfway across the world is going through exactly the same thing you're doing, just in a different context, a different set of circumstances. And if that person is able to wake up and smile and take the good out of life, out of their circumstances, you should be able to do the same on your steps in life. Learn to listen. Don't talk down to people. You don't always have to agree with everyone. But taking in their experiences of life, they have learned something in life, whether it's good or bad. And either way, you'll be able to benefit from that knowledge. That's why talking and listening to people, especially listening to people, is so, so important. See you guys on the next step. Be safe.